a father who was visiting a friend near Gaza when Hamas first attacked Israel. You can see the photos of 66-year-old Gidan Babani with his daughter. She didn't even know that that's where her dad was at first, that he was down by Gaza. And when she found out, she just hasn't been able to get a hold of him. He was with his girlfriend, who she believes may be dead now. His daughter, Aliyah Tamam, is joining us now. Aliyah, thank you so much for being with us, and we are so sorry um, to hear about what you are going through. How are you doing? My first, uh, thank you very much for letting us hear our voice. Um, it's a difficult time. It's um, last uh, Saturday, we woke up to a different reality, uh, literally a nightmare. Uh, we we are not good. We're trying to to find any piece of information, to find them, to try to help them, to try to understand what happened there. Yeah. We keep receiving um, uh, some information and uh, different information from different people. We don't know what happened there. And we're just trying to, to find them and to understand what happened them. And did it, is it your belief, is it your understanding, Aliyah, that your dad has been taken hostage, that he was abducted? what people are saying um they saw him running away and captured he was running away he was hiding inside the house with his partner um she managed to talk with her brother in the in the morning she told him they are under attack they are uh, being shot at and and they are hiding and they're trying to escape and we received today a message from uh, from a friend of my father's partner that say that they trying to escape after the terrorist broke into their house the the house the that they were staying in and uh, they they uh, explode a grenade inside the house and captured my father uh, meaning he will trying to escape we we are not we don't know for certain that that what was happening because uh, we just heard from someone that maybe was there um and saw something but we don't know for certain that that was what was happened and we are trying to to figure out to to speak with people who were there to um, to speak with with the government or to to reach to someone for for getting some answers we feel uh, hopelessness and uh, really frustration to to can't help them and find them and don't know what happened when you talk about I think how how appropriately desperate you are to try to get information, to try to find out more about what happened to your father. Can you talk about who is liaising with you? Who is in contact or in communication with you? Is it the Israeli government? Is it local officials? What do you need the most right now? What is your biggest priority, obviously, besides finding your father, but from a logistical perspective? No one has spoken with us yet. No, no one from the government, no one from the security, no one has spoken with us. Um, we don't know for certain what happened. I really need someone to give me some answers and know what to do from now. And um, I just don't know. I, ju I just know the kibbutz is empty. There is no people in the kibbutz. Um, and they are not found in there. They are still missing. And I don't know if they're alive. They have been captured. They're dead. I, I don't know. I just uh, know from some people that told us wh what was there. No. But not from uh, someone that can tell us for sure that that was what happened. Uh, Aliyah, we are so grateful to you for sharing the story of your dad, the story of what happened. And there are so many people who are hoping that you do get the answers 
that you are looking for um, and that your dad is, is returned to you and safely along with so many others in this crisis. Aliyah Tamam, thank you very much for being with us tonight. It's such a difficult thank you. time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.